Here's Margot Robbie in a bubble bath to explain. Basically, Louis Rainieri's mortgage bonds were amazingly profitable for the big banks. They made billions and billions on their 2% fee they got for selling each of these bonds. But then they started running out of mortgages to put in them. After all, there are only so many homes and so many people with good enough jobs to buy them, right? So the banks started filling these bonds with riskier and riskier mortgages. Thank you, Banjo. That way, they can keep that profit machine churning, right? By the way, these risky mortgages are called subprime. So whenever you hear subprime, think shit. Our friend Michael Burry found out that these mortgage bonds that were supposedly 65% AAA were actually just mostly full of shit. So now he's going to short the bonds, which means to bet against. Got it? Good. Now fuck off. Okay, I'm a chef on a Sunday afternoon, setting the menu at a big restaurant. I ordered my fish on Friday, which is the mortgage bond that Michael Burry shorted. But some of the fresh fish doesn't sell. I don't know why, maybe it just came out. Halibut has the intelligence of a dolphin. So, what am I gonna do? Throw all this unsold fish, which is the triple B level of the bond, in the garbage and take the loss? No way. Being the crafty and morally onerous chef that I am, whatever crappy levels of the bond I don't sell, I throw into a seafood stew. See, it's not old fish. It's a whole new thing. And the best part is they're eating three-day-old halibut. That is the CDO. Okay, so here's how a synthetic CDO works. Let's say I bet 10 million on a blackjack hand. 10 million because this hand is meant to represent a single mortgage bond. Okay, Selena has a pretty good hand here, showing 18, dealer showing seven. That's a really good hand for Selena. Good odds. In fact, her chances of winning this hand or 87%. So, my odds are good. I'm on a winning streak. Everybody in this place wants to get in on the action. How could I lose, right? Now, this is a classic error. In basketball, it's called the hot hand fallacy. A player makes a bunch of shots in a row. People are sure they're gonna make the next one. People think whatever's happening now is gonna continue to happen into the future. During the real estate boom, markets were going up and up, and people thought they would never go down. So people who are watching and think that I won't lose will make a side bet. Now, this is the first synthetic CD. I love Selena Gomez. I bet you 50 million she wins. And I'll give you a three to one odds. Three to one odds? Okay, I'll take that bet. Now, somebody else is gonna wanna make a bet on the outcome of their I bet. you 50 million she wins. That will lead to synthetic CDO number two. Hey, I bet you 200 million that lady in the glasses wins that bet. She probably will win, so I want a great payoff. How about 20 to 1? Deal. And this will go on and on with more and more synthetic CDOs. And we can transform an original $10 million investment into billions of dollars. <laughs> 